So here we have the uh, Cobra 2 into 1 exhaust. This is the uh, 6478B El Diablo 2 into 1 uh, Cobra. Let's see what's inside. Uh, packaging. There's a box here. This is a little heavy. What is this? Yes. This is the uh, this is the collector, the muffler. Hardware and oh, this must be the bracket. It comes with uh, a little bit of Loctite already on them. So let's put that over here as well. Uh -oh. the instructions are in right here. These, I'm guessing, are the instructions. Yep. And this would be my second. Uh, Cobra decal or sticker. Comes with all the instructions. And what's this? Oh, this is the, the collector, the the white pipe. Yep. That's the collector. And there's the heat, the the heat cover. Yeah. Add that to the garbage. And here we have these are the pipes. I'm not gonna open them just yet. Here's the other one. This one, I'm guessing, is the the one to the front, this one, yep, just like that, let's just go to the rear, let's put those over here, what else is that it? That might be it. Looks like they sent me so here's this little sticker and here's uh, thanks for your support get out and ride is where I ordered it from and
that's it. So let's go ahead and uh, look over these guys and start installing this bad boy. Hello guys, thanks for tuning in once again. This is me on the voiceover. Now I have some issues here with the uh, insulation. Well, not with the insulation, but with this piece right here. The uh, the brake, uh, the pedal, the peg. The, the right side peg. Uh, I was trying to uh, loosen it, but I forgot righty tighty lefty loosey. So I ended up rounding out the bolts. Yes. A very dummy stupid mistake rounding out the bolts and that uh, pretty much delayed this whole this whole uh, uh, insulation by a lot it's something that delayed me I, I was looking for tools thinking that that I had everything with me and it turns out I round out the bolts but I was able to install the pipes even after this huge mistake so don't uh, don't make the same mistake I did. Make sure you go counterclockwise to loosen the screws, bolts, or whatever it is. It's always counterclockwise, guys. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. And uh, I can't remember the last time I wrenched on something before installing uh, these pipes. It's been a while since I've uh, done any kind of installation or worked on. Uh, the only thing that I do remember recently was uh, doing the oil change on my car and it's just something my mind blanked out and I it just forgot uh, other than then uh, loosening the uh, the peg uh, the the right side peg uh, the, the insulation went pretty smoothly uh, one of the other issues I ran into was just the alignment of installing the headers so you always you know you always want to take your time this is me uh, talking about the uh, the the bracket that holds the the muffler from uh, from the insulation it's right I'm just showing it over there and installing it and this is me just explaining what I had to do since I couldn't take off those uh, those bolts on the uh, on the peg I had to slip in the uh, the header with the with the cover on just so I could finish the installation so you see how I slide that out that was that was the the issue that I was having. Uh, I couldn't remove that foot peg, and luckily, I uh, you can uh, install these headers without the uh, the shim that comes with the kit. There's a shim inside of the uh, installation kit, and and it it it, it, uh, it moves at about one eighth of an inch. The 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 foot peg, the the whole the whole assembly. You, it's just space. It it's like a spacer. So it lets you it lets it puts more room between the the header and the actual foot peg uh, the right side, but as you can see here, I kept on going on with the installation. I didn't want to go back to the store buy a a, a rounded uh, a bolt kit kit. I don't have I don't have something like that. I've never had to use one. Now one here's the other thing right here. You see me kind of doing it by hand the header bolts. This is something that you want to take your time. This is. I mean, after the the foot peg, I didn't want to round uh, another bolt or another nut, so this is just me taking my time, aligning it. This when you install the headers, you want to go left, right, left, right. You don't want to tighten up one side all the way down and then do the other side. It's it's going to be another big mess. So this one, you want to evenly uh, put the pressure on the uh, on the uh, on the header on the exhaust port uh, bolts. You don't want to tight one side all the way down and then do the other side you know just you, you kind of uh, just you just take your time and this is this was the one I was having a tr uh, trouble with also you want to install the the O2 sensors on the pipe uh, before you install the uh, the headers okay you, you don't want to be turning the uh, the the O2 sensor uh, while the the exhaust is already installed so just like you saw in the earlier clip, I I actually installed the uh, the the O2 sensor before installing the headers on on the exhaust port uh, on on the jugs. Okay, 
once again make sure the O2 sensors are installed make sure you you connect the uh, the proper one I'm not sure if it makes a difference between the the rear cylinder and the front cylinder but I kept them uh, I kept them uh, where they were supposed to be left and or, well not the left but uh, the rear and the front one the O2 sensor I kept them where they were supposed to be uh, what else can I give out another tip yeah install the uh, Oh, when you install the, the the exhaust, never tighten out anything. You have to move stuff around. So that's that's what I was doing here. Uh, my uh, girl gives me the uh, the muffler as if it was a child. You know, uh, you you do want to protect these these components. You want to make sure they don't get scratched up, or you want to make sure they don't get uh, damaged uh, too much. Uh, you know, it's a brand new exhaust. You also don't want to put oil all over them too, uh, from your hands. So you, you you should wipe it down or you know wear gloves. Uh, that's what I'm doing here. I'm I'm wearing gloves, making sure I don't uh, fill the exhaust full of uh, uh, oil and get that all burnt up into the uh, into the into the headers and have that uh, stain these these beautiful brand new pipes. Uh, what else can I talk about? Another tip. Uh, yeah, install this. You know, take a look over the instructions. Uh, and I was having a hard time trying to do trying to do this installation without the uh, without the instructions this is me finally uh, looking at it uh, looking at the instructions and try because I've installed the exhaust but uh, see it's still loose you see how it still moves I think I've installed the exhaust on my Honda about maybe two years ago so it's been a while it's a brand new bike also this is a brand new bike so I'm trying trying not to scratch anything trying to uh, try and take care of the bike I don't want to damage it too much. Uh, other than that, yeah, install it. Take your time. You don't want to scratch anything. Align these bolts. You see what I'm doing there? I'm aligning them to where, to where you could access them and tighten them or loosen them uh, if you had to. So I'm aligning all these uh, these clamps to where I could uh, easily access them with uh, a wrench or a flathead or a screwdriver or whatnot. Uh, another issue I was having was installing both of the bolts on that rear uh, muffler holder bracket it's just something you have to keep on working um, yeah you have to keep on loosening it evenly install those bolts get it to where it's evenly uh, there's an even pressure throughout the whole exhaust don't don't force anything don't uh, don't push anything because you don't want to round out anything on on this bike you give yourself more work and that's what I did off the bat when I when I accidentally rounded out those uh, bolts on the on the bottom peg I gave myself an extra maybe an extra hour or two of work just just for trying to get through this after that I, I, I took my time checked everything and this is me starting to tighten everything down because it's it's fitting pretty good and just like that you see me go left and then I go right and then I go back over to the left side. So evenly, even pressure throughout the whole, the whole system. Do not over tighten one side and then uh, attempt to to tighten the 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 other the other the other stuff when it comes to the exhaust ports, the the jugs. Make sure it's even pressure. Don't don't uh, break anything. Don't round out any any brackets. I mean any bolts. This is. This is not a, a sprint, you know, you, you want to make sure this is properly installed. And another tip, if uh, this one only had about 50 miles at the time I installed these uh, these exhaust pipes, uh, I I went to the dealership and got uh, new gaskets or, yeah, new, uh, ga ex uh, new gasket, uh, ex exhaust gasket port, port exhaust uh, gaskets, there you go. I got brand new ones uh, from the dealership. They're about eight dollars each. Came out to sixteen, seventeen dollars for the pair. Something uh, you, since you're already in, uninstalling, since you're already taking off the pipes, just put in those new gaskets on on that on those exhaust ports. Install those gaskets. Don't go and make yourself more work because you don't want to leak on these pipes. And this is something that I talk about in the next video. I talk about the exhaust uh, uh, gaskets get them I 100% uh, recommend for you to get them if you buy uh, a new headers or anything if you buy anything exhaust go ahead and buy another uh, gasket as, as well a pair of gaskets because you're gonna need them you don't want leaks you don't want backfire you don't want uh, 
uh, overheat, over, over excessive heat coming from the pipes. If you do have a leak, that's that's some of the some of the issues that that you might see from having an exhaust leak. Uh, your exhaust pipes are going to get super hot. And there's going to be popping backfire coming out of the exhaust. Uh, just de cell pop that also. It's just something that, uh, from my experience, just spend the extra 8 to $16. Get those gaskets. Install everything properly. Take your time. There, there's no rush. This is this is a bike. And you only want to do it once. Don't, don't, don't go and, and uh, doing the job, the same job twice or even three times. Just get what you need. And spend the uh, spend the extra couple bucks because just about any exhaust that you purchase does uh, just about everything does not come with these extra exhaust gaskets. And this is me uh, installing the the covers, the the black uh, exhaust covers. And just like I said before, the issue with the one eighth inch gap at the foot peg. I've I've looked at it. I've been keeping an eye on it. It doesn't seem like it's uh, damaging the uh, the metal or, or or the heat. The heat is not is not it's not uh, it's not crazy, uh, even though it uh, it looks like it is touching just barely. But uh, that one eighth inch gap could have actually helped quite a bit. But it's one of those things. I could down the road probably get a uh, a rounded kit uh, a remover. And take that off, buy new bolts at Harley Davidson, and install those brand new. I'm still holding on to the shim, the the, the spacer that comes with this uh, kit. I still have it, so I'll be able to down the road if I have to install them. And this is just this is the this is was the third. This right here was me dealing with that third issue that I was having with the muffler bracket. For some reason, it wasn't aligning properly. And this is, like I said, this is something that you have to do. You have to take your time. See, I removed the bolt. I installed another bolt. And then it was it was just, uh, it's just something that you have to work with. It's just, and I believe here I have everything. I, I finally, I was able to, I was able to install the muffler. And once I, I had the muffler completely installed in there, that's when I started tightening down everything. And just like I mentioned earlier, you go on the exhaust ports, you go one side and then the other side, and then one side and then the other side. Do not completely All tighten right. down one side. So here it is, put a two into one. Finally, after six, seven hours, There's the bracket. Here's the uh, passenger peg location, and uh, here's the uh, O2 sensor. These are reconnected. Everything's tying down. And make sure you put these where you could access them. And then for the for this sensor, we had to move this guy from down here. From down you had to pull that out with the flathead and move it up so the o so the O2 sensor can reach because it wasn't reaching down there. So, so now we could connect this guy back. See, and there's the clip. See that white clip? And that's where that attached to the frame at the bottom, right under here. So if you get this set up or almost any other exhaust, you're going to have to relocate or move this this oxygen sensor so you can reconnect this. That's it. That clicked in. Mm. He's moving. That should be okay. Hey, 
It should be fine the way where it's at its location. <coughs> no, everything is tight. I should put this stuff back. Make sure you tighten everything that you loosened up. And then we're gonna listen to how it sounds. See, here's the uh, oxygen sensor to here, and then make sure you wipe down the pipes. You don't want to get any oil on it. And I'm just gonna tighten up this stuff. Thank <laughs> you. 